Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Andrew here, Nuff Said Cards. It is Saturday evening, July 21st, 2018. And uh, tonight I'm making a video. This is a response to the contest that Dustin Bellinger is running uh, in connection with his one year anniversary on YouTube. So Dustin, first of all, congrats on hitting a year. I uh, really enjoy your channel. You make great videos and uh, you have an awesome collection and it's exactly the kind of stuff that I like looking at. Um, you know, rare, obscure, pre-war stuff and, uh, you know, just keep the videos coming. Um, and for Dustin's contest, he wanted us to do two things. First of all, he wanted us to shout out a channel. I actually have two that I'm going to shout out. And also, he wanted us to showcase something in our collection. And I'm going to show the cards in my collection that are the highest graded examples of those cards. Uh, so first of all, for the shout outs, Rich Richard. Uh, Rich has less than 100 subscribers, uh, and uh, that should change. Rich um, really makes cool videos. I, I love his commentary uh, on the cards that he shows in his collection. And um, just a true collector and really uh, uh, a big Yankee fan and a Babe Ruth fan. And um, he has some cool stuff that he shows on his channel. And uh, Rich and I uh, discovered uh, communicating um, offline that uh, we almost certainly played rugby against each other in college, which is pretty neat. And um, uh, my recollection of those games, my school against his school, was that we uh, pretty much uh, got destroyed, um, but, uh, good memories of those days nonetheless. Um, so, uh, definitely go check out Rich Richard. Uh, I will put a link to his channel, um, on this video. Also, um, I, I'm just assuming that most of you are subscribed to Dustin Bellinger's channel, but I'll put a link to his channel, um, also, just in case you're not, definitely go, uh, subscribe to it. Second, those back pages, um, I just discovered uh, this channel a couple of weeks ago. Eric has a awesome collection. Um, everything from uh, you know pre-war T206 cards up to modern day basketball cards and you know everything in between. And uh, really enjoy how he discusses his cards. And um, go check out the video that he posted on. Um, I believe it was in March 2018. Uh, it was a response video for a contest that Ray from Philly was running. Go check out that video and uh, you'll get a taste of what his collection is like. Just uh, simply awesome. Alright, so that's those back pages and I'll have a link to his channel also. Uh, for the second part of the contest, uh, Dustin wanted us to showcase something in our collection. And I'm going to show you the cards in my collection that are the highest uh, graded examples of... Uh, of each particular card. Um, so first up, this is a 1936 Worldwide Gum Heine Manouche card. This is graded a 6 by PSA. And there's the back. Uh, there's a total of 16 graded examples of this card. Uh, 9 by PSA and 7 by SGC. The highest SGC example is a 5, and PSA has two 6s, so there's another 6 out there. Um, and I will mention about this card that this is a old uh, PSA slab, so this was slabbed a long time ago. And um, PSA has kind of tightened up their standards, and if this was to be graded today, it probably would not be a 6 because of the centering. Um, it would probably have a qualifier, an OC qualifier for off-center if not um, miscut MC uh, qualifier. But it's a six nonetheless, and I'm happy to have that in my collection. Next up, this is a 1912 Photo Art Shop Boston Red Sox team postcard. This is graded a five and a half by PSA. Uh, this is one of the uh, favorite, uh, my favorite things in my collection. Really love this postcard. And it's just an incredible shape for a 106-year-old postcard. Um, there are a total of seven uh, graded examples of this postcard, four by PSA 
and three by SGC. The highest SGC um, is graded a two and a half, and this is the only um, PSA example at five and a five and a half. So this is the uh, highest graded example of this postcard, and I'm thrilled to have that one. Next up. Smokey Joe Wood. This is a 1909 to 1916 Max Stein PC758 Joe Wood postcard. And uh, this is graded a 4 by SGC. There's the back. And there's a total of 6 graded examples of this postcard. Uh, none graded by PSA. All 6 are graded by SGC. And there are two uh, fours, so there's another four out there. Um, I just think that the pose and uh, the image and the lettering, just everything is uh, like really cool on this postcard. I just think it really uh, looks neat. And uh, happy to have that one. And finally, this is a 1921 to 1923 National Caramel E220 Rogers Hornsby card. And uh, this is graded a three by SGC. Um, there's the back. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the E220s, um, you're probably wondering how a three could be the highest graded example. These are notoriously difficult to find in high grade. Um, they're almost always severely miscut. Um, just uh, you, you can't find them in good condition, and if you do, they uh, they're pretty expensive. Um, I probably overpaid for this one, but uh, really like that picture. Just thought it was a cool um, image of Hornsby there, and really like the centering, um, which again is pretty difficult in this issue. Um, there are 22 total graded examples of this card, nine by PSA and 13 by SGC. Uh, PSA has three threes, and SGC has two graded a three. So there are five cards graded a three, and this is one of them. Um, so that's it. Uh, those are the cards in my collection that are the highest graded examples. And um, I thank you for watching. And Dustin, again, congrats on uh, your one-year anniversary. And... Um, for those of you that are watching this and you have not yet subscribed to Dustin's channel, you definitely should. And also check out those back pages and Rich Richard. All right. Thanks, everybody. I will talk to you soon. Bye.